All right, folks, on November 19th, libertarian economist Javier Millet won the runoff elections for their Argentinian presidential palace. And let me tell you, the aftershocks are going to be felt around Latin America and the world. Starting with a bit of his background, Millet's story reads like a libertarian manifesto come to life. Born to a bus driver and a housewife in the streets of Palermo, Buenos Aires, Millet's rise to the top echelon of Argentine politics is nothing short of meteoric. This is a guy who once sang in a Rolling Stones cover band and was a goalkeeper for a soccer team, but surprisingly, it wasn't rock or sports that caught Millet's passion, it was economics, lit on fire during Argentina's hyperinflation crisis in the late 1980s. An economist by trade and a professor for over two decades, Millet is not your typical politician. He's a man who's penned more than 50 academic papers and carved out a niche as a staunch critic of government spending and an advocate of the Austrian School of Economics. Now, let's talk policy. Malay's platform is a cocktail of radical change, slashing public spending by 15%, privatizing state companies, and proposing to dollarize Argentina's economy. That's right, he wants to tie Argentina's financial fate to the US dollar. It's a bold move that could either stabilize the economy from spiraling hyperinflation, but could also send the economy into a short-term tailspin considering Argentina's low dollar reserves. The fact that Millet's party only controls about 26% of Argentina's legislative bodies will certainly make it difficult for him to implement his far-reaching agenda without negotiation or compromise. What's undeniable is that Malay's presidency marks the end of an era dominated by Peronism, for now. He's promised to upend the status quo and dismantle what he calls the impoverishing model of the omnipresent state. But with his eccentric personality and libertarian ideals, the question remains, will Malay be the savior Argentina's been waiting for, or will his policies ignite a power keg of social unrest led by the country's powerful left? Maybe both. This is a story about a man who's taken the political establishment by the horns, armed with nothing but economic grafts and a chainsaw. Yes, a chainsaw to cut through government's excess. Malay's presidency could very well be a turning point for Argentina, which 100 years ago was among the 10 wealthiest countries on the planet. Either way, we're in for a wild ride, so buckle up, it's going to be a bumpy ride.